Hello everyone and welcome to the Aviation with Elliot channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my best graphics settings that I've found so far for x 12. Now they are more around the performance side of things for that sim, but the graphics do also look pretty good but I'm hoping for a few bug fixes. Now I have a 3070 and a Ryzen 7 3700X, so if you have similar settings then this video is definitely for you. It's kind of a, the higher range of mid-end computers if that makes sense. Anyways, let's hop into this tutorial, it won't be long, I don't want to waste your time, and please consider subscribing for more. Ok so we're just going to hop into x 12 the party in Blackbush here, in a Beechcraft I believe. So open up your graphics settings and I'm just going to go through these in order of what I found best. It may not be the best but for my system this works perfect and I am pretty impressed with the graphics however sometimes it can be lacking in a few areas. Anyway so texture quality I have on high anything below that's you know the FPS isn't that big of a deal uh, or it doesn't change very much with your texture quality as it is x -Pen. Ambient occlusions are basically the shadows nearby objects, I don't really care for those as much and uh, I believe getting the FPS out of it is worth it, as you're not really losing much. The rendering resolution you want to make sure is off, which means that it's going to be 1080, sorry, 1920 by 1080 pixels, if you have a 4K monitor it's going to fill up all of that space basically, or all of your pixels. If your system really can't handle it, then I suppose you can go down, but it's probably worth adjusting other settings before turning down your rendering resolution, because it just looks awful, and the anti-aliasing will look a lot worse. Now for anti-aliasing, I found that FXAA works pretty well for me. All the other settings along this bar, like SMAA, I believe, times 2, that's what I normally use, but they all look relatively similar. Now anisotropic filtering, I've tried different settings of 8x and 16x and honestly haven't noticed that much of a difference either like anti-aliasing. So I believe that it might just be best to leave it on 16x but 8x also works perfectly fine. It looks a little bit more crisp with 8x I believe. Anyway so cloud quality maximum because you don't lose that much FPS and most of the time it's going to be spent above the clouds if you're on fat sim or IFR. Your shadow quality hides fine, it doesn't make too much of a difference but I haven't really tweaked this and rendering distance is quite important. I believe on medium it works perfectly fine. As an x 12 the land does look quite similar so that works best. Object clouds, sorry, object density, again high. I haven't noticed a big difference between these settings. And vegetation, I just left on maximum because it's nice to see the trees, etc. Now, below dual parked aircraft, you're going to want to have that off for sure if you're using uh, that sim or V pilots because all this is going to do is add in more aircraft, which is going to take up your FPS. Now if you're flying on your own then maybe this option would be good for you, but I still recommend having it off. Now 3D vegetation, tried it on, I haven't found any real difference as you can see, but that's about it. Uh, you can turn it on if you are uh, doing more VFR flights I suppose, but even VFR I haven't noticed a very big difference. And that's all my settings, I will update or I will make a new video if I do find any updates. But for now, in November 2023, this is the best settings that I found for my system, which gets around 40 FPS on that sim. Uh, oh, sorry, well, 40 to 80 FPS to be honest, above the clouds, 80 FPS and an A320, which I think is great. Anyways, thank you all for watching and join us in the next one. See ya.